Et hey, salut, this is Alex and this is part 2 of the uh, Kintsugi story. Wow. You know that beautiful Japanese art of repairing broken ceramics. Thanks to Mizuyo Yamashita, I now have the uh, varnish I needed. It's not an actual uh, lacquer or something, it's more like a figure of... Uh, to create that perfect modern cheat on uh, that traditional technique. And that is hopefully gonna help me a lot if I want to fix my beloved uh, Japanese bowl. Of course, before I can do that, I need to perform loads of gluing, bonding tests, and that's why I've got myself loads of second-hand slash damaged slash chipped mugs, bowls, and... Let's do this. So basically, I've got three tests in mind, which go from a super simple all the way to a tad more complicated. I couldn't wrap my head around breaking my own brand new cups. It doesn't fit with the whole philosophy of Kintsugi. Those are all, you know, slightly damaged or a bit chipped uh, pieces, which is fine because I'm gonna fix them anyway. When I bought it was only slightly chipped, but because of my very safe and steady bike ride, well, things are a bit more useful for the Kintsugi technique probably. I know this is for greater good, but still, it's gonna be painful to watch. For science. For all things, I will take a cup. I mean, in this case, a cup is very unlikely to be taken now. Okay, test number one, the Sharpie and some crazy glue. So when facing a new obstacle, a new problem, I usually go for the most simple, obvious solution at first, even if it sounds a bit simplistic sometimes. The exact same situation when I'm looking for a parking spot, I go straight to the... The first operation has to be some sending action. So there seems to be a bound. Uh, What's going on? Super weird. There might be an interaction between the uh, Sharpie ink and the super glue, which I left open. Oh, man. What a nice way to start. Okay, test number two, I'm gonna be using Sugru. If you're not familiar with this, it's like a fun Play-Doh kind of glue. I've been using it quite a few times to fix things around the studio, but I never thought about fixing, you know, ceramic until I saw some pretty lovely fixing over on Pinterest, you know, that beautiful thing. I'm gonna try to do that. Yeah, I know it looks like a mess at the moment, but trust me, it's always the case when you're making something. Okay, since we got a, a bit of time while it's drying, uh, I just want to give you a little Kintsugi fact. That Japanese technique is usually regarded as being part of a, you know, wider worldview called Wabi Sabi. Within this perspective on life in general, things not only are beautiful because they're symmetric or just perfect or permanent, but more because they are impermanent, imperfect, and incomplete. Okay, so to fully cure, uh, Sugru needs 24 hours, but we can remove the excess way before that. <laughs> there might not even be a need for uh, test number three. Just want to check something super quick it's for my personal peace of mind, okay? Is Sugru food it must be okay. I mean, it's silicone based. Silicone is food safe. It must be good. Oh. Such a shame, guys. I love the render, right? Ah, okay. So, no problem. I'm gonna kick things up a notch. And in this test, I'm gonna be using epoxy glue wise. And since this is liquid, I'm also gonna add some gold color. A quick disclaimer about epoxy. I'm not gonna replicate the same mistake twice. This is food safe epoxy. I can share a link in the description box down below. And even this is a food coloring. So, things should hopefully be fine. This a few rules should be respected in order for things to go in the right direction, like not to the hospital. That's what I meant. One, work in a ventilated area. And two, wear gloves.
I'm afraid I'm currently facing a difficulty. This resin that I'm using is too runny this time. So, so I think it's at the core of its composition since there is no additive, there is no you know catalyzer other than the hardener itself. So it's almost impossible to you know keep two pieces together while they are curing. Well, I know what I could do. I could be using this super not food safe a five minute epoxy which is super convenient it holds the pieces together while it's curing it's just perfect i wish i could use that but instead i'm gonna find another idea for this okay i'm fed up with the test <laughs> it's probably time to grow a it's time to get the bowl out and fix it for good whoa it feels so heavy There are so many pieces in this one. I guess that's what I live for. Okay, so three, two, one. I drop it, I'm gonna kill myself a hundred percent. Kintsugi! This tutorial might be one of the very few on the internet which makes it food safe at the end. It might be the only one. Pardon my French. Is it a cocky comment? Yes. Am I the French guy cocking? Yes. <laughs> I'm not the French guy cooking, I'm the French guy cooking. Uh, right, so in order for you to replicate that process at home, here's the whole thing broken down, bullet by bullet. First, you need to perform what is called a dry fit, just to understand how the pieces work together. Then you need to sand the profile or the section. Then you need to mix the epoxy glue, respecting the exact proportions. Technically, you would then use that resin straight away, but that's where I differ from, from, from the rules, again. Um, Instead, I wait uh, for, for the glue to be stickier and thicker. Stick the pieces together. Don't start with like a like hundred pieces. If you're actually mixing a piece on your repair, then you can replace it with a mix of wheat flour plus epoxy glue. Then you'll have to wait for about eight hours. Now using a blade, you want to trim off to remove the excess uh, glue on those lines. Next, you want to brush those lines with a very thin paintbrush. Uh, this time, you don't have to wait uh, for the glue to dry. In fact, it's better to use it when it's really runny. And that's when you want to sprinkle a lavish amount of gold powder. It will stick to those lines and then you will wipe out the excess. Uh... Well, in my defense, I said I was going to create a nice cheats on it. I didn't say I was just gonna break the rule of the universe. And also you gotta take into account that the traditional method takes three months. This is like probably a day or two of work. It's just a piece of cake from a Japanese point of view. Also, just so you know, I made another piece, really thin porcelain or china. If I say French china, that's confusing for people. I will ship that directly to Mizuyo Yamashita's studio. Not exactly for her to appreciate my kintsugi skills. No, no, it's just a way of saying thank you. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and share that everywhere. Spread it like butter. You know, the famous 
hashtag of this channel. It's a long hashtag. I'll put the link to my book in the description box down below. If you already have that book, then God bless you. Please consider leaving a review over on Amazon. It really helps a lot. And last, people, click subscribe because I make new videos about food. You see that it's definitely about the big picture. This time it was about dishes. Next time it's gonna be about ingredients. Who knows? Maybe I don't, so you can't. So in the meantime, take care. Bye-bye. Salut.